All right, what is up, God Gamers? So yes, it is Friday, which means Zer is here. He is at the Watcher's Grave on Nessus, on top of the big tree right here. We're gonna go over his inventory, what he has, what I recommend you pick up. Let's see if he's got anything good. All right, all right, so we have, for exotics, we have the Queen Breaker, we have Aphidious Fate for Hunters, for Titans, we have Eternal Warrior, and then for Warlocks, we have Phoenix Protocol. So going over Phoenix Protocol first, a 67 roll with 23 intellect. Guys, if you want a good Phoenix Protocol, this is a pretty solid one. I don't like the fact that it has 15 mobility, if I'm being completely honest, but the fact that it has 23 intellect is enough to kind of offset that for me, and it all is also a 67 roll, which I believe is one off the highest roll possible you can get on an exotic. So if you guys want a really solid Phoenix Protocol and you're Warlock Man, definitely, definitely go pick this up. As for Titans, Eternal Warrior, a 61 roll with 16 mobility. I would honestly say skip. This is kind of a shitty exotic, if I'm being honest. And, uh, you know, this is kind of not a great roll on it. You do have 10 recovery, 13 intellect, and 12 strength, although there are only four resilience, which is a bummer for sure. Moving on to Hunters, we have the Aphidious Fate with 15 mobility, 17 recovery, 13 intellect, and 16 strength, being a 65 roll. Unfortunately, we have only two discipline and two resilience. So I would honestly say this is another skip, unless you don't have this exotic and you want to add it to your collection. Not a tremendously bad roll you can put a resilience mod on this um, and you'll get it up to like 14 if you master work it and then put that mod on top uh, but you know not looking too great to be honest um, but if you want to add it to your collection go right on go right ahead and then for the exotic weapon, we have Queen Breaker, which um, if you don't have it, once again, add it to your exotic collection. But this is a gun that's been so slept on for so many years um, and for good reason. This is not really worth your you know, exotic slot for pretty much any activity, maybe arguably like Gambit because it's really good at invading. Um, but, you know, there's no real like point to running this weapon. Moving on to legendary weapons that he has, we have starting off Chrome Rush, which I'm hoping this is a good Chrome Rush roll. We have Heating Up Rampage. Guys, this is a god roll Chrome Rush. This is probably going to be in the title or thumbnail. Um, Heating Up Rampage is really, really solid. We also have Tactical Mag and Steady Rounds. Definitely run Tactical Mag. And then we have Hammer Forge Rifling with a Reload Masterwork. Guys, this is a phenomenal Chrome Rush. I highly recommend you pick this up. This is from the season of the Splicer Weaponry. Um, and this is something that you don't really see too often. And it's really, really solid. It is a 720 RPM auto rifle, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get this if you're a new player or a returning player. This is going to be great for, you know, pretty much everything in the game, including higher end stuff. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. Moving on from that, we have a 7 Seraph Officer Revolver with Threat Detector Osmosis. Honestly, there's better ways of getting this gun in the game currently right now, and this is not honestly a great roll, so I'm just going to say go ahead and skip on that. Uh, moving on, we have an Enigma's Draw with Zen Moment, Zen Moment Elemental Capacitor. I'd honestly say skip on that as well. But the last couple weapons are pretty interesting. We have Deafening Whisper with Auto Loading Surplus. I would honestly, guys, if you're a new player, pick this up just for auto loading. This is a very, very old, very slept on waveframe uh, grenade launcher, and it is really, really solid. It is void, so it will work with your void mods this season. And it has auto loading surplus. It's kind of a skippable perk, if I'm being honest. I kind of wish it didn't have surplus. But the fact that it has auto loading, has implosion rounds, and you have volatile launch and linear linear compensator, I definitely run linear compensator, uh, implosion rounds, and then you have auto loading with a velocity masterwork. Guys, this thing is going to be insane. Throw a free hand grip on this and you're going to be going to town. Um, I wish it had ambitious. If it had ambitious, that would be awesome. It does not, unfortunately, but this is a, I would confidently say this is like a four out of five god roll, definitely whisper. Once again, guys, new player, returning player, uh, hardcore player, you don't have this, go pick it up. Very worth it. Moving on from that, we have the Iclos SRV-1, the sniper. Um, perpetual high impact, not a great roll, but guys, if you do want this crafted next season, purchase however many you need uh, for next season. Pattern wise, you'll be able to put deep slate on this weapon next season and get it crafted. Um, this does come with chamber compensator, small bore, and seraph rounds, and extended mag. I'd obviously keep seraph rounds, and then I would probably run small bore um, just for that little bump in range handling. Um, you do have a stability mass work, perpetual, not terrible, high impact, kind of meh on this weapon, and then you have the Rasputin's Arsenal Origin trait. Overall, not a horrible Ikelos, but honestly, I would just purchase it just to craft it next season. As well as the next weapon on our list, we have Planet Stry with Slick Draw Harmony. Kind of a terrible roll, but guys, if you want this crafted next season, once again, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a couple of these, however many I can pick up. Um, and I am going to get this crafted next season. This is a phenomenal LMG, and especially because I think we're getting some arc mods next season, this LMG could see meta potential, so we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, Slick Draw Harmony, not a really great combo, if I'm being honest, but I would just pick it up just to get it crafted next season. 
and then we finally have the class specific swords i never recommend you guys pick this up um, because you can go get these the better versions the craftable versions from the imperial engram over at the helm so you know i wouldn't honestly recommend picking this up unless you just wanted to add it to your collection i'm on warlock so we have eternity's edge this has relentless strikes and flash counter um we also have hungry edge honed edge and tempered edge probably run honed edge and then infinite guard um, you know, I don't really know if that's a good guard. And then we have an imp impact masterwork. So overall, pretty terrible sword. Uh, but if you want the better versions, go farm it in the helm. That's the better way to get it. Uh, we'll go over the warlock armor real quick just to see if there's any good rolls. We have a 60 stat gauntlets uh, with 16 resilience and 17 discipline. Honestly, not a terrible roll, especially since it has low mobility. If you guys want a decently rolled gauntlets, get, definitely go pick it up. This is also a really old armor set from uh, you know, back in vanilla D1, or sorry, vanilla D2. This is the future work world set. Um, we do have a chest armor 58 stat with 13 mobility, skip. Um, we have a helmet with 12 mobility, another skip to be honest, only has two resilience. And then we have a, another, we have a leg armor, uh 18 recovery 17 intellect and only six resilience honestly if you put a resilience mod on it to get it up to 18 after you masterwork it this could honestly not be that terrible um so if you're in need of like a decently rolled boots this is pretty good 61 roll not horrible not great either uh but you know if you just need a good pair of boots with recovery and intellect definitely go pick this up moving on to our final weapons we have the hawk moon and dmt for hawk moon we have hip fire grip we have that with polygonal rifling rifling alloy magazine hip fire grip and polymer grip i would say skip on this to be honest we have three more weeks of hawk moons to see what we're going to get so this is not the role i would recommend to you guys at all and then for dmt we have a killing wind role with fluted barrel ricochet rounds killing wind and fitted stock not a terrible role i normally like vorpal on this although it does not have vorpal this week and then i would honestly like full bore ricochet rounds vorpal and then uh hand laid stock but we do not have hand laid stock we have fitted stock which is not terrible um but you know there's better rules of the dmt out there but if you guys want a decent one this is not a terrible one to pick up especially if you just want one uh but yeah guys that's gonna do it for the zero video today hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe i appreciate all of you and uh, definitely go pick up that chrome rush definitely go get the guns that you can get crafted next season if you don't already have them but yeah guys it's been uh ian and i hope you guys enjoyed all right bye